welcome back to another combo video here at the epic storm i am brent cook and today we are playing legacy eggs and this deck is excellent uh if i'm being honest what really makes this deck playable in legacy is urza saga it really rewards you for playing a bunch of artifacts which the eggs deck wants to do i did play this deck list in a league last night where i breezed through a 4-1 probably should have been a 5-0 but uh, a blue-white deck with whole breachers and meddling mages got me. So we've made a few small adjustments and we're back. Hopefully tonight we get the 5-0. And I'm excited because I think this deck actually has some potential. And I'm not just saying that. I really do believe it. So, all right, let's just start from the top. We'll go over the deck tech and then we'll go into some more stuff. So 14 lands. I started on 12 and then I've added one and now I'm adding another. And... Part of the reason I went up to 14 is we included a small red splash in the board for Pyroblast and Wear Tear. So I wanted a 14th land. But on the combo turn, using Flooded Strand in conjunction with Second Sun Racer Face Reward, this fetch land ends up becoming a Lotus Petal. And it sl slowly, on every uh, interaction with Second Sunrise or Face Reward, removes a land from the deck. So you actually want a bunch of fetchable lands. So in most deck lists, you want, I don't know, uh, with the 14 land deck you probably want eight fetches and six fetchables it's the opposite with this deck because you want more fetchable lands for your fetch lands so that's why we have uh five fetchable lands and then only four fetch lands like i mentioned small red splash we need white sources to cast our second sunrise and faith's reward there's a saga i talked about how great that is as a backup win con here but it also gets a bunch of utility cards like aether spell bomb nile spell bomb in the sideboard, we have this lovely pithing needle. Um, it does not get engineer explosives. X is not zero or one, just a heads up. Uh, but it gets brainstone. I find myself getting mox opal a lot with it. The card's just really, really good in this deck. Uh, but then we have this spicy expedition map. And this was a Max Carini idea. Because we found that against the blue decks, the second sunrise plan is kind of hard to pull off versus all of their counter magic. But if you can just get another map into another Urza Saga, those game, the games that we drew double Saga, the blue decks couldn't keep up. So this just gets you that second Saga immediately and allows you to grind your opponents into the ground. So big fan of this. Um, I haven't actually tried it yet, but in, sen like in theory it makes sense. And then on the combo turn, you can actually just remove your lands uh, from the deck so that way you're not drawing into them. But you could also potentially brainstone them back. And Brainstone, I think, is a pretty big upgrade for this deck. It wasn't in my original list, but uh, it was thought of midway through testing, much like Witching Well. These cards did not exist for the Bonnard version back in 2014, but they've been printed since. And Brainstone is really awesome because this is a Lion's Eye Diamond deck. And with Lion's Eye Diamond, you have to discard your hand, which can be a little bit risky if you're sitting on extra copies of Second Sunrise or Faith's Reward or something like that. Well, Brainstone allows you to put those cards on top of your deck discard your hand to Lion's Eye Diamond, and then draw the second sunrise with uh, Bobble, Spell Bombs, Chromatic Stars, whatever. Uh, but that's why it's so good, is you can sculpt your draws a little bit with the Brainstone, and that makes it really, really valuable. Uh, moving on, Chrome Star, classic card in this archetype. Color fixes, but also just draws cards. This is our egg, so to speak. I am not playing Chromatic Sphere. It was in the list that I played last night. But instead of running Chromatic Sphere, we're running uh, one Engineer Explosives and then the Expedition map. Spheres didn't actually come up that much, so I'm not too worried about losing them. And we do have the additional draw spells with Brainstone anyway, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, Conjurer's Bobble essentially allows you to go infinite, so to speak. And you would just put Second Sunrise on the bottom over and over. And then you can Pirate Spell Bomb your opponent for lethal. This is one of the win conditions, but it takes a lot of clicking. And we're not really looking to do that much clicking. So instead, we have included a copy of Grape Shot. You know how much I like to storm to 20. So we're going to storm to 20 and then just murder our opponents. Murder them dead with Grape Shot. That's the primary plan here. All right, so we've covered a lot of the basic stuff here. We're not going to go over like Mox Opal and Lotus Petal. Like, we just need artifact mana. That's what they are. So uh, moving on, we get to Orm's Chant. You might be wondering... Like, why Orm's Chant? Why not Silence? Well, one, you can kick it to stop your opponents from attacking. I did that multiple times last night to win the match. So I was facing the Dwarves deck. I attacked the Sagas. They would go to swing out. I would chant them with Kicker. Attack with Sagas, that sort of thing. So uh, Orm's Chant, very good. And one of the big things about Orm's Chant type effects is they stop Surgical Extraction. They stop Endurance. 
So you don't you can play around those effects by just playing it first and then casting your second sunrise or whatever. Orbs chant makes a lot of sense here. Also very good against opposing copies of combo decks. So uh, keep in mind that you can use this reactively as well as proactively. Witching well. This card is an MVP. Draw two cards and it sets up your early game. Wow. Uh, usually you end up you might be thinking like, hey, four mana is a lot. Well, wait until you're recurring multiple copies of Lion's Eye Diamond. Four mana becomes nothing. So this is one of the cards that you really, really want to be sacrificing every turn when you're doing the face reward second sunrise stuff. Thoughtcast, kind of a no-brainer. We just need card advantage. My first list for this deck was actually playing... Um, what is it called now? Deadly Despise? Is that it? The black card? Deadly Dispute from Adventures of the Forgotten Realms. I was originally playing that alongside thought cast and what i found was it really incentivizes you to sacrifice your artifacts early and you don't really want to do that you want to save your artifacts for the second sunrise turn so that was a little bit awkward but i was playing thought cast alongside it and once we had a brainstone we figured out that we didn't need the deadly demise anymore so you're we not running that card but instead we are running the red splash for pyroblast and pyroblast is important because it kills hull breacher narset and leovold i did run into those cards last night and pyroblast would have been really nice I haven't actually played with Pyroblast yet. Looking forward to doing it tonight. I'm expecting, you know, now that we have the secret tech to crush our opponents, maybe do well. That's the game plan. And then this is just a generic catch-all. Uh, when playing last night, I got paired against the Eldrazi Cloud Post deck that took first in the challenge. We had zero outs main deck to Chalice of the Void. So this gives us an out, which, you know, we don't need an out to everything, but we just realized that, like, playing EE is kind of free. I actually did beat the Eldrazi player 2-0 on the back of Urza Saga, but it would have been nice if I could have combo killed as well. And then let's move to the sideboard. Monastery Mentor. Our good friend Wilson Hunter and Brian Koval would be proud. We we're running their favorite card in our deck. It makes a lot of sense as a juke plan. Opponents boarding in a lot of graveyard hate. We just switch modes. We can play our mentor and then just play a bunch of zeros to make a monk army and then wreck them. So Prismatic Ending, probably one of the best removal spells in Legacy, right? Well, why are we only running two? Well, it doesn't answer some of the cards that we care about. Leyline of the Void, for example. Uh, four mana to destroy a Leyline is kind of asking a lot. And in order to make the extra colors, we'd have to have a Mox Opal or a Chrome Star. Uh, it's just like kind of a tall ask. We're not running four of this. Instead, we're running a split with Wear Tear which can answer a line pretty easily. So that's why we have a split here. I know that it seems a little bit odd, but this was well thought out. Fluster Storms for opposing combo decks as well as protecting your own. Pyroblast, all this good stuff. Uh, Nile Spellbomb, other combo decks do exist, but it's also an egg, so you can use it to draw cards make combo, which is just great. It is not Soul Guide Lantern. After a while, your opponent's graveyard will not have any targets in it for Soul Guide, and then Soul Guide forces you to start eating your own graveyard. You don't want to do that. Nail Spell Bomb's just easy to do. Just play Nail Spell Bomb. And then I mentioned the Needle is a good utility card for Urza Saga. That is the deck list. I think I've covered everything. And if I haven't, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below, which also helps us get into that lovely YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment anyway. I don't care if you have a question or not. Just leave one. It'd be awfully nice of you. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It is free and easy to do. It makes sure that you stay up to date on the latest and greatest combo content, which is what I'm trying to provide you with today. So please, please, please subscribe. And if you're looking to go to the next level, check out our membership information that is in the join button next to the subscribe button. And in there, you will find information on badges, emotes, donation decks, cyborg guides. So definitely read all of that. Become a member. Be fantastic of you to do so. But not obligated. Uh, but yeah, you can ch definitely check out that information. We also have donation decks over at theepicstorm.com slash shop, where you can submit your combo deck to be featured here on this very YouTube channel. You can even join me in a video in the Epic tier. So if you want to showcase and talk about your deck, there's nothing better than the Epic tier. Over at the shop, we have tons and tons of card singles, as well as Sweet Sweet Storm merchandise. We have a brand new mini token pack, which I'll show you in just a second. But on top of that, we have pint glasses, play mats, shirts. My favorite shirt is the Storm 20 baseball tee, super soft. Definitely go check that out. And then our new token pack. We have 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, and 3 colorless mana symbols. 
Then you get 20 Storm Counters to count all the way up to Grape Shot, which is perfect for this Eggs deck. In fact, you're probably going to need all of your mana for this deck. So you definitely want to get the token pack if you're going to play Eggs. And then we have a Galvanic Relay Exile token, Treasure tokens for Striker Rich, and then Monks for a Monastery Mentors. It is literally perfect for everything. We're pulling a brand new spicy combo deck today, and it already has Monk tokens in it. How perfect is that? And then for Modern Friends, Eve Progenitor Ooze, Slime Time Tokens, Power and Toughness already built in. What more could you want other than Squirrels versus Goblins? Chatterstorm versus Empty. Definitely go check out our mini token pack. And just so you know, it's $13 and you get 64 double-sided tokens. That's 128 tokens. It's just great value. That's the epicterm.com slash shop. That's my intro. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in match number one. I know you're not going anywhere because you're going to want to watch this crazy legacy eggs action. See you there. Match number one, and we are facing Yokel, Ant Stalwart. We're on the draw, and we've opened up an ace with Orem's Chant. That said, Ant usually does have some amount of discard, so we're going to want to hide this with Brainstone if it comes up. But we're going to keep this and just hope for the best. Okay. Misty Rainforest from Ant. Underground Sea into Duress. Thoughtseize, okay. I imagine our arms chant is being discarded here. Goodbye, arms chant. Okay. Another arms chant off the top? Witching Well. Um... Hmm. I think I'm just going to play out a Brainstone here. Okay. Preordain from our opponent. Hopefully we get another turn. Maybe, uh, scry I guess if we scry, we don't actually get to draw. Hmm. I wonder if it might have been better to play Aether Spellbomb. So that way we could potentially scry into Orem's Chant and then draw into it. Lotus Petal. Dark Ritual. They're going for it. Okay. Are they using Ave here? So, assuming that they get past in flames, uh, they have seven mana. So, Piff would bring them down to three mana. Dark Rich will bring them up to six. I wonder if our opponent just missed lethal. I'd have to recount. So, they had seven mana past in flames. Would bring them up to three Infernal Tutor. Uh, they were a storm short of tendrils. But now we're being put in a position where we need to win. Uh, so I don't think this hand is going to be get be able to get there without an insane brainstone. Okay, that's a good step one. So... I think we need to brainstone and then fetch. Okay, let's do it. Faith reward, but we needed to hit a Lion's Eye Diamond off that. So I think we're just dead. Yeah. Okay, game number two. And now we're going to bring in our copies of Flusterstorm. I don't know if we want Pyroblast. Seems like a little bit of wishful thinking. Uh, but we can get rid of this spell bomb. Probably don't want map. Or aether spell bomb. Explosive seems okay. You can like hit Wine's Eye Diamonds with it. It's not very good against Dave. Uh Ave has a converted mana cost of five, and engineer explosives does not hit those. So I mean I guess it could, but not realistically. Um so this is 60. I don't mind this. This seems fine to me. I could board out the explosives for one Pyroblast. Hmm. 
I could also bring in a needle, or actually the spell bomb makes a lot of sense here. Let's do this. And while we wait, you can open up the description down below, and in there you will find seven social media channels. I would personally recommend the Discord. A lot of great combo conversation happening in there. That said, all of our communities are great. Make sure to like, comment, follow on all of them. And it helps you keep up to date on the latest and greatest combo content, as I mentioned before. All right, match number two, and we are on the play. Or, I'm sorry, game number two, not match number two, game number two. And this is just a straight mulligan. We can't keep that. Um, This one's really close. We need a blue source or an artifact. Is this better than a five? Hmm. Probably. But I think you just have to bottom one of the thought casts. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. It's unfortunate I don't have Flusterstorm up this turn, but can't control it. Like, it's a very reasonable hand, and we're getting Thought Seized anyway. I imagine that they take the Fluster here, but I could be wrong. If they have multiple discard spells, they might want to leave it. I'm not sure. Uh, if they do have multiple discards, the Witching Well actually makes a little bit of sense. And they agree. Okay, so let's see if we can draw an artifact or a land here. A land is not bad. Okay. Actually, I didn't need to fetch immediately. That was a little bit dumb. Um, Because I can't cast the Thought Cast. Yeah, that doesn't work. For some reason, I was like, yeah, I'll cast Witching Well, and that will turn on the Opal, knowing that they discarded it. Like, I just said it. <laughs> so, sorry about that. A little bit of bad play there. Under, sure. And with this Urza Saga, we're going to go get Nile Spellbomb. So that way we have some protection from Cabal Ritual and Past in Flames. We did see... Um, if progenerous do some damage there so the spell bombs not lights out okay and they're coming back with the second discard spell let's just fluster this it's fine i'd rather keep the thought cast for potentially drawing into orum's chant anyway so we're going to draw tap this for mana okay and now let's go get spell bomb so now the opal's active. And cast thought cast. And we're mana short of face reward. Which would get back the sagas. Alright, we just have to pass. Or saga singular. Okay. And it looks like they're passing. So I do know that our opponent tends to like playing Fosters from themselves. So that's something we should be wary of. Um Sure, let's play Chrome Star. I really wish we had more mana. A little bit nervous here. In theory, I could sacrifice this to try to hit Fluster or 
Orem's chant on their turn, but I don't really want to make that play. What is this? Echoing Truth? Well, I have they know that our opponent boarded an Echoing Truth. <laughs> um... I'm going to represent strength here and keep up the uh, Chrome Star, or the Opal. Okay. And another discard spell. So we're going to lose our Fate's Reward here. And are we dead? Dark Ritual. Okay. Claw Ritual. So that's five mana. So if they left Aven their deck, this is a lot of power. Five mana. Infernal Tutor would bring them down to three. Uh, and then you sacrifice Lion's Eye Diamond. Uh, Past in Flames would bring them from one to three to five. So you can't Piff Loop right now, if my math is correct. Because you need one more mana to be able to Tendrils. So if they have Aven their deck, that works. There's Tutor. So it looks like they are getting Ave. Um, so I guess like I can cycle the Chrome Star and try to hit Chant. But if they get Ave, it really reduces my odds of winning. But I think it, my best odds are probably just drawing an Orm's Chant. Okay. Do we get there? Not a good draw. Okay. So we're probably not getting this one now. And there's the Eve. Yep. So I think our best draw is like a brainstone here. And Urza Saga is not going to be good enough. So we have lost match number one. Kind of a bummer after my hot league last night. Feel like we drew a little bit poorly here. Not the end of the world. Let's just see if we can bounce back in the rest of this league. Match number two. We are on the play. Let's see if we can do better this time around. And this sand seems fine to me. Keep. Just waiting on our opponent here. Okay. Let's go. All right, Crumb Star, pass. Dark Seal Citadel. Are they on the Affinity deck? Emery. Okay. Painter. Kind of wild. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Alright, what's our draw? Spell bomb. Okay, so I think we're just going to play stuff out here. 
And then next turn we can thought cast. So they do have Emery, so if, assuming that they have a land in hand, they can use Emery to play Painter Servant this turn. And there's Saga. And Painter Servant will be coming back. And they chose blue. So they likely have a force in their hand. Map. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. I guess we can bounce it with Spellbomb. As long as we leave a mana up, we're not dead to Grindstone. We missed a land there. I'm considering being greedy right now and casting this Thought Cast. Let's get greedy. All right, I hit Opal. That keeps me alive. Assuming they don't force it. And they did. I must be dead now. Okay. Weird that they let the Thought Cast resolve and then force an Opal, but maybe they realized their mistake after. And now I'm just dead. And there it is. Okay. Bummer. Okay. Um, so we probably want the endings. Let's get rid of the explosives. Probably don't need the pirate spell bomb. Or this map. This has not been a map league so far. Not a lot of uh fair decks. Fire boss seems pretty good here. I don't know if we want the wear chairs. Like, two mana for shatters a lot. Probably board down on face reward a little bit. I think that this is reasonable. Let's try this out. Okay. Yeah, this seems great. So we can play. Saga, Diamond, Spellbomb, Mox Opal, Witching Well. And then turn two we can Thought Cast. Okay. Let's go through the motions. Lines of Diamond. Spellbomb. Opal. And then Witching Well. Scry. I like the Brainstone. And we'll pass. I like the Brainstone for putting Sunrise on top so we can use the LED to spend mana on it. Opal. Grindstone. Okay. Three cards in hand. Let's thought cast. So we know we, we have Pyro on top. I think Grape Shot. Drawing it every game. Um, let's do this. So if need be, we can sacrifice our hand to bounce a Painter Servant if they just happen to have Lethal. Not that we want to make that play, but it's an option. Alright, they have three cards in hand. Okay. I don't know why they did that main phase, but maybe they have a reason. 
That would make sense. All right, so they have four cards. We can, in theory, try to win the game right here, but we'd be running directly into a force, and I, I'm not a big fan of that. I guess I can draw my card first. I don't need to do that now. Okay, so what do I want to get here? I almost want to get diamond. So that way we can just, like, go off, but it's going to involve us brainstoming into chant. Come on, brainstone. Please give me chant. Hmm... I wonder if I can stack it to have Pyroblast on top. So, put these there. Blue, red. Because I'm trying to make it so that I can uh, use the fetch land, because then I could fetch over and over with the fetch land. So, I want to put second sunrise on top. Uh, we have seven mana. So I'd have to use the witching well. I don't know if this works. I might have to play the bulk. Because that would give me eight mana. Yeah, it's just going to have to be bulk. Okay, so let's do blue, white. Okay, and then I'm going to leave up the Vulcan, not sacrifice the Aether Spell Bomb, so that way I can pay for Pyroblast. Okay. Alright, so Witching Well. Don't want these. Alright, I'm going to discard the Pyroblast. And it's kind of free to just like cycle the spell bomb first. Okay, that was good. Okay. So if I use the brainstone, I'm actually mana short. So I don't think I want to do that. Um,. Second Sunrise. Alright, Scry. Let's put these on the bottom. Witching Well. Put these on the bottom. I don't even know if I want to play the other Brainstone. This is why uh, drawing the Volk off the Brainstorm is bad, because like I could have two additional lands and to play off the Fetch Land. Am I supposed to keep going here? We boarded out two face reward effects. I don't know. We only have four left in the deck, but maybe that's fine. I'm just going to draw one first. All right, not very good. Witching well. Double ending. Okay, uh, so we can remove the grindstone. And then remove opal. Alright, that could have gone better. I really wish I. If I had played the fetch land there, that turn would have been very different. But with only having one red source in the deck, I was so pressured. Now Urza Saga activates.
Another grindstone. They must have painter in hand. There's painter. Red. So as long as they have uh, a mana source in hand, I'm dead. Uh, I think we're just going to need the world's best brainstone here. Oh, second sunrise. Where were you last turn? That's unfortunate. We are now 0 and 2. Womp womp. Okay, let's just see if we can get this one. No need to dwell on those first matches. A little bit bummed because I do think that this deck is good, but obviously they didn't go our way. Um, and here we have a find hand. I'm good with keeping this. Once again, we just want to play turn one star, turn two brainstone, uh, maybe hold up chant. Plan on taking a mulligan to six here. And I'm not shocked that this deck uh, didn't win the first two combo mirrors. If I'm being honest, like we are kind of a slower combo deck. And in the first round, our opponent had uh, four discard spells in two games, which, you know, it's pretty good against us as the orange chant combo deck. Uh, that's slower and then in game or round two the painter deck opened up some pretty quick kills while having interaction so it happens misty rainforest okay i think we just play double brainstone here try to set up this thought cast Volcanic Island. Old Rags, sure. Alright, so the pedal's good because it allows us to thought cast through days here. Whoops. Blue. We just need a Lion's Eye Diamond now. Ragman's going to get in there. Witching well. That's pretty good for them. Yep. Mortary Grave. That's interesting. Not quite sure what's happening anymore. We just have to pass. So you might be wondering, like, why don't you Orm's Chant and then crack uh, a Brainstone here? Outside of hitting exactly Lion's Eye Diamond, I don't think that line is very good. But I am a little bit confused by these Watery Graves. Or chant, sure. I didn't want to draw that anyway. Merc tide. All right, so the pressure is now on. Come on, deck. Diamond. All right, I'm going to crack a brainstone. Uh, maybe I should crack from star too. Okay, another chant. I guess I could chant them with kicker to buy time. Upkeep with the kicker. Whoops, I had to tap that for white. Orbs chant. No spells, can't attack. 
Okay, spell bomb. I think I'm just gonna pass here. Might use a brainstone on the run stop. Because I don't think we're gonna need both of these on the combo turn. So I'm gonna go to 10. I have so many cards in hand. Now they get their own brainstone. Why Watery Grave? Are you a shadow deck? If so, why is it Volcanic Island and not Steam Vents? It just doesn't make sense. All right. Brainstone. And there's our diamond. Uh, I want to hide these. Actually, I might be able to cast the second sunrise, so let's put it like that. Diamond. I could have chanted first. It doesn't matter. If they have double force here, we're probably dead. Okay. Um, back this for white. Oh, I auto yielded. I'm, I was trying to respond to the ability right there, but because I auto yielded earlier, was it didn't let me, which is really unfortunate. Um, that's not good. I'm going to brainstone. It's awkward. All right. White. Cast second sunrise in response. Sack this for white mana. And draw a card. That stinks that uh, it wouldn't let me respond there. And now they're going to brainstorm looking for another force. Or another blue card, potentially. Second sunrise, please. Hey. All right. Um, let's start off on the... Actually, it's probably better to start on Chrome Star. So I know that we're drawing another face forward here. That's not anything special. Um, let's brainstone. And we hit the mana we needed. That's good. So it's worth noting that the face reward uh, second sunrise stuff doesn't work favorably with Mox Opal. You only get to choose one. All right. So let's cast thought, cast hold priority, add three white. Those come back. These being four mana is like kind of awkward here. So I would get back Brainstone, Opal, Lion's Eye Diamond, Chrome Star. Part of me is like, should I be greedy and try to Brainstone here to hit more mana? Like we're almost halfway through our deck. And if we had an LED, I can then Pirate Spell Bomb into this. Let's do it. Um, so the second sunrise is okay. Okay. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Ah, they had it. I knew that was a risk. Okay. We lost. Womp womp. Yeah, I knew that was part of what, like, yeah, I'm, I've said enough. Um, I wonder if I should bring in Mentor here or if it's not fast enough. I don't know if we want these. Board out that and then board out like. One face reward and maybe the map. Let's try this. You can board out one face reward a lot with this deck. Seems fine. All right, 
Death Saga. Ideally, we would draw a blue source for turn. So that way we could go Brainstone into Thoughtcast. Flooded Strand. And Stevens. This, it just has to be some sort of Death Shadow variant. Witching well. I'm just going to pass. I don't really want to burn the Lotus Petal. Alright, so Delver did not flip. Right, Van. Okay, so we're going to lose our Saga here. That stinks. Just pass. I don't really want to sack this pedal. Like, as of right now, I would call this Grixis Delver, but I'm still not quite sure what's happening here or why they're running Shocklands. Like, it could just be Shadow with, like, one Volcanic Island, one Underground Sea. Alright, so Rags is getting in there. Go get a treasure. Draw. Yikes. So now Delver will flip because they brainstormed last turn. Or they're going to fetch. Okay. And the Delver. Flips days. Okay. We've probably lost this one, and we were about to be 0-3. I feel bad that, like, I am not showcasing the power of this dock after how good it was last night. Alright, 0-3. Well, let's try to salvage this. Let's just get a 2-3. And uh, 50 play points back. I will keep. Alright. I think we just want to lead on like Tundra Spellbomb into Diamond. That way if we're discarded, these are already in play. No reason to start on Saga because then you can't activate it on time unless you draw exactly Mox Opal. Okay. So glad I played out Tundra instead of uh, Saga there. I suppose we look like Bomberman right now. What was I thinking? We could have tried to fit in Bomberman combo. Uh, well, let's Orm's Chant our opponent here. <laughs> Seems like a good time to cast this card. No. Sorry, Pox person. Nice Dark Rat. Okay, so now we'll play Saga. And this pedal. Alright, Pox, what do you have in store? Another Wasteland. Okay. The Rack. Okay, so it's going to deal as one here, I believe. Brainstone. So right now we'll be taking two from the rack. Herborg. Smallpox. Okay. Take three, ouch. Play and pass. Take another three down to 11. And you might be wondering why I'm playing out my cards. I don't want to be discarded. I'd rather take three and then try to win on the final turn rather than just have my cards discarded over and over. All right, they're up to three. Curse scroll, sure. Alright, down to 8. 
All right. So I guess in a series of events, they could have eight damage here. Like if they had like Dark Ritual, the Rack, Activate Curse Scroll, they could have Lethal. Um, but it's not very probable. So we're going to go to five here. And now a land next turn makes this lethal. So we're going to want to try to go. Um, let's draw a card. Okay. So I think we're actually supposed to go all in on the brainstone here. All right. Blue and then white. Come on, brainstone. Um, I guess that gives me a little bit of life. Thought cast. I don't think this actually does it. So, we can play Brainstone. Yeah, we're so unlikely to win here. Too late. Come on. I think I even have a land drop, but I can't do this. Oh, one mana too short. Bomber, we're losing the pox too. Maybe I was wrong about this deck. Maybe the four one was a fluke. Maybe I just suck. I don't know. Well, I'm willing to bet the Pox has Ley Line in it, so we probably want a Board of Mentor. We probably want these. Get rid of the Spell Bomb. Probably don't need these chants. Those can get sided out. Oh, I don't know how that got boarded out. I guess I could board a Needle on Wasteland to make the Saga kill uh, slightly easier. Hmm. Let's try this. All right, I'd like to win this match. Come on, Doc. You're putting up an embarrassing showing. I saw its potential last night. I know that it's there. Uh, I I'm, can't figure out why I'm not doing well tonight, other than the fact that uh, the matchup so far hadn't been perfect, but I feel like we're better than 0-3, possibly 0-4. Sure. Need these witching wells to do some work. Alright. Well number one. No. Maybe I should have shipped this hand. If they're smart, they probably take Chrome Star here. Second sunrise, okay. I think we just want to dig for land two. All right, and pass. Saga. And the rack. So I think here we're going to go get basic planes and play out both artifacts. Just trying to make sure that we don't lose the wasteland. So Saga will go to chapter 2. And there's wasteland. Alright, so we take 2. So we can, in theory, try to go off here. Uh, if I drew into lines, I'd diamond it'd be a possibility. So I'm getting Tundra, hoping that they waste me at some point. 
Because then it would come back with the face reward. Not good. Okay. So get those back and I think we just pass now. All right, they're making the construct. They're probably getting like a spell bomb or something with this saga fight, I guess. And I'm just going to fetch to avoid like a needle. But I imagine they have like a Nile spell bomb or something along those lines. Another copy of the rack. Okay. And there's Needle. Do they name Witching Well? Chromatic Star was not a very good name. Chromatic Star uh, is a mana ability, and Needle does not stop mana abilities, but our opponent is telling us that we need to win, so it's go time. So let's start off on this thought cast. I guess we can. It doesn't matter. All right, face reward is good. Let's just find some more mana. Draw. I'm going to use this brainstone. Although it's a little bit risky because if I don't hit mana off it, I'm dead. But right now, we're not getting much back off the Fates Reward, so I feel like I need to use this. Alright, so I hit Opal. Question is, is that good enough? Guess it's going to have to be, right? Well, I can fetch to shuffle before I thought cast. Alright, face the ward. I believe we have a basic island left in the deck. Thought cast. Need Lion's Eye Diamond. Halfway through our deck almost. Um we're just gonna have to cycle these chrome stars. Come on. We're very likely dead here. Yep. <sighs> Alright, so 30 cards left. That means we saw half our deck and zero copies of Lions at Diamond. That was the uh, the downside here. Oh, 04. Yikes. We are just playing for pride at this point. No play points on the line. We are playing to just not 0 for 5. And our opponent has revealed a Yorion, which likely means death and taxes. I think we keep this. Maeve Mulligan, we will try it. One has gone to four. So they're probably DNT just looking for that Thalia. Okay. There's uh, the basic planes. Little do we know that we're a Chromatic Star deck and not the Epic Storm. Okay, so then next turn we play Saga in the map. Ooh. That Wasteland's actually kind of brutal. Cauldra. Okay. It's going to be tough for me now. Witching Well. I don't think we need these. They have Cauldra and one unknown. Now two unknowns after their draw step. We're at 14. Okay, we can make a 5-5. Five, five. They're going to wasteland the saga. So 
So we're not going to get the upkeep saga. Like, we'll get wasted before then. So we're at nine. Hell yeah. I'm actually happy about that because now we can make another construct. Okay, and now let's make another one. And this can actually block the... Uh, what are all the abilities on this first return? Yeah, so now we can keep on blocking the fall drive return. Now the saga will trigger. I wonder if I just get Aether Spellbound. So I can bounce the germ. So if I bounce the germ, these become five fives. I'd rather just wait and not sack the pedal. Yeah, let's get in there. Deal. So they do have removal in their deck for what it's worth. So removal could bite me in the buns. Spirit, okay. Mox Opal, these get a little bit larger. So I'm gonna swing out here before I do anything because if they don't block, let's say they just take 16. Okay, that's fine too. I can chant them in their upkeep. Oh! I clearly cannot read. Um, that hurt. That was me playing poorly. Apparently, Cauldra also has that ability. It's usually not relevant to the combo player, but... Uh, Reading is uh, pretty crucial. <sighs> that stinks. Okay. Let's guess this thought cast. Oh, Spirit. I am such... I am playing so badly right now. <sighs> Jeez. I just messed everything up. Let's bounce it. Uh, I should have two constructs. I played this game so badly. All right. They got me. I punted this game. This is when I just deserve to lose. Don't know what I was thinking. All right, let's get the chance out of here. Lost to a mold of four. Yikes. Um, I think I'm just going to do two mentors and do this. Or I can board out the E. He's like one of the few ways I can beat Deafening Silence, so maybe I want to keep it. Let's try this. All right. Unfortunately, this is a mulligan. This hand just stinks. All right, so the plan is the Needle Wasteland. And uh, draw extremely well. <laughs> Our opponent has gone down to four cards again. It worked well for them in game number one. Uh, I can't believe how badly I played that game. Need on Wasteland. And pass. Mom, okay. Uh, I don't feel like hitting the mom with the ending. Uh, 
Okay. Holdra. They left back the mom on D. Witching well. Is supposed to keep these? Probably don't need two brain stones actually. Alright, so Cauldra Complete is once again in play. Just pass. Maybe I'm supposed to keep an orange strand for like surgical? I'm not sure. Just the thought now that I just had. Yikes. I think I just lost. His mother is an issue. Oh, I'm just dead on board. So this was an 05 0 for 10. We did not win a single game. Look at that. I don't know if I've ever gone 05, 010. This deck was not is not a bad deck. Uh, but you wouldn't know it from watching this league. This is kind of just a nightmare. Um apparently changing the map and engine explosives out for the uh chromatic spheres were the entire difference. Because last night I was cruising through the league that I played. Maybe it was just a fluke. <sighs> This was a nightmare. This deck is not that bad, but hopefully you at least found some joy in watching me go 05010. I don't have anything else to say. If you made it this far, thank you. Uh, if you skip to the end, I don't know if you want to go back and watch or not, but yikes. Have a great day. <laughs> hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.